YouTube reseller mom here welcome to today's video today I'm going to go over some do's and don'ts for reusing boxes for Amazon FBA so first thing is if you can reuse anything in your business I highly encourage it it saves you money and it's good for the environment but that being said Amazon FBA has some regulations as well as our post system does so first things first you should be familiar with all of Amazon's terms of service and what they suggest and be complicit in there so while you're watching this video that's great I do uh, follow all the terms of service there, but if things change or whatnot, you always want to go to Amazon first and check the regulations. All right, that being said, let's dive right into some of my, uh, boy, top things I learned when I started Amazon FBA and I had to look these rules and stuff up. First up is if there is any other UPC code on the outside of the boxes, you're going to want to go ahead and black these out. So I'm going to show you this one as an example. This is an Amazon box and uh, they have my address on the other side. You're gonna wanna blank that out. And these stickers I go ahead and blank out too. Just anything that could confuse the person on the receiving end for Amazon, you are going to want to um, black out with a marker. This is another example. I get shipments of toilet paper and other goods shipped to my house. You know, it saves me a little bit of time and effort. I like having these big items delivered to our house, but I go ahead and I reuse this box. And when I do, I go ahead and I cross this barcode out and I kind of scribble the edge there. So the example here is like that. I'm gonna go ahead and black that out and just make a little mark there so that there is no confusion whatsoever when I'm shipping it. The markers that I prefer are these guys right here. They come in a three pack at the dollar store. <laughs> They're great for just quickly marking out boxes. They are probably the best um, or the cheapest, best ones that I have found. I have bought, you know, Sharpies and big markers off of Amazon and at the uh, office stores and whatnot, but nothing meets three for a dollar. Let me tell you, what does that work out to? What, 33 cents a piece and they last a few months and there we go. Okay, next up, if you have this sign on your boxes, you need to get it off. You cannot ship anything UPS with this label on there, unless if you are specifically, um, you know, shipping lithium battery stuff. So you may get something in the mail. Uh, I had to order a Dyson replacement battery, so it came with this shipping label on it, but any caution signs that are not applicable to your shipment and you haven't gone out of your way for, you need to get them off your box or they will not ship it. That goes for alcohol too. If you have a wine box or a beer box or whatnot, you cannot have any sort of alcoholic beverage advertising on the outside of the box. Now you can take that box and wrap it in brown paper and ship it that way, but that's not really very good to do for FBA. So if you are trying to source free boxes and say, uh, like I did, I went to Safeway one time and got a bunch of free boxes. Unfortunately, some of them were alcoholic boxes. And when I went to, sh to ship them, I had to cover the entire box and it was a pain in the butt. <laughs> so I just don't source boxes like that anymore. Next up, priority mailboxes. If you ship priority mail, you can use priority mailboxes. If you are not shipping priority mail, you need to not use the priority mailboxes. You cannot, cannot use these to ship, uh, you know, UPS uh, for FBA boxes. That it will be a big, big no-no. And then the last I have here for an example is this guy. If you get shipments in and your box is compromised, this was such a lovely, I don't know what they did. And of course it's covered in fragile stickers. <laughs> and this was from an online, um, arbitrage order and I received my boxes and it's all crushed. Don't use crush boxes for your items. If your items arrive damaged to Amazon and it's because you used a box like this or didn't pack them up properly, you're probably gonna lose out on that inventory. They're not going to repackage your stuff nicely for you. They're just gonna call it damaged and take it off your inventory and call it good. Uh, don't expect anybody from Amazon or anybody from anything to go out of the way for your business. It's your responsibility. So I don't recommend reusing these boxes whatsoever for anything Amazon FBA. Now, if you are shipping um, blankets to your sister two states over, then you know by all means, go ahead and reuse it if you're comfortable with that, but not for Amazon FBA. 
All right, that's all I really have for this video. I always uh, reuse as much dunnage as I can as well, but do look up the regulations for that. We're not gonna talk about that today, but I've gotta get back to work here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like these videos, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more like them, uh, let me know down in the comments what specific video you'd like, like to see. And I hope you all are having a great day and having fun and good luck with your Amazon FBA orders.